Greetings everyone and a warm welcome to the channel. Wishing everyone is staying safe wherever you are. So on this video, I will be showcasing the NAIA arrival process for an OFW. Let's touch base on the specifics of the video. So this was my first hand experience arriving in Manila on September 2021. Came in as a non OFW, returning overseas Filipino, a dual citizen. I arrived uh, from a United Airlines flight 183, which originated from Guam. We arrived at 8:50 p.m. and uh, we disembarked on Terminal Three. Okay. Uh, before we proceed, let me introduce to the new view viewers. Uh, the short channel intro. Appreciate a like, share, and a channel subscription, guys. All right, so if you haven't seen the travel preparation video in this channel, do check that out after this video. So have all these documents in a folder ready, so uh, you're gonna be ready to present them once asked for. I counted about four stops or stations during the arrival process. So um, have uh, yeah, on your folder your passport, uh, US and or Philippines. Uh, if applicable, have your dual citizenship documents, your One Health Pass QR code, your PadLab QR code, and if you paid online, also your PadLab uh, receipt of payment, your 10-day hotel reservation confirmation, your health declaration card, your arrival card, and have your trace app ready on your phone. I highlighted or put in blue here the health declaration card and arrival card. Those two forms are to be given to you but on your uh, last leg if, you're ha if you have multiple flights on your last leg arriving to the Philippines. All right, so these were given by the uh, flight attendant. So as mentioned in my last video, we arrived through a United Airlines flight from Guam, which was about just 20% occupied. Plus, it's a smaller plane. This is a 737. Um, this is the first station uh, where you will present your One Health Pass QR code. I believe this is where the Yellow Health Declaration card used to be collected, but since the info that we entered in that Yellow Health card was already populated using the One Health QR code, I guess the health declaration was no longer collected. We actually still have our yellow card in our possession now. After the One Health Pass station, you go through a temperature check, you take off your face shield, uh, then proceed to the next station. You'll see a lot of uh, Coast Guard personnel guiding you and manning the lines. Our flight was uh, not a big group, so we were just sitting. Okay. 
So our second station was the Department of Tourism. You present your passport and show the 10-day hotel quarantine confirmation. After the DOT station, you are directed to either Red Cross or Padlab. I have a video on the Padlab station since that was where we were assigned. Red Cross was on the left side, just in case you were wondering where they are located. I did fill up a small slip, which I missed taking a video of, so my apologies. If I remember right, it just asks you to fill up your flight number, password number, contact number, email, and quarantine hotel. They will inform you when you are scheduled for the swab test. You will also present to them your receipt if you already paid online for the uh, RT-PCR. Alright, now we are done with Padlab, uh, done with the health stations, now we're going to go to immigration. And like I mentioned, there are a lot of uh, Coast Guard personnel out there who will guide you where to go. Alright, and a lot of you are probably wondering what I used as a passport since I am a dual citizen. Um, I used both. But we did use the foreign passport line. Of course, I, uh, I needed to have the uh, U.S. passport uh, stamped, and I also needed my um, Philippine passport stamped. You are gonna be uh, taking pictures when you are at the immigration. Right, and after immigration, we go down to a baggage claim. <laughs> Upcoming is a welcome site. It's so nice to have uh, free use of push cart. I paid seven bucks in LAX. So make sure you save your uh, baggage claim ticket. They are going to be strict and uh, we'll check the uh, claim numbers. There's one last time that you're gonna show your uh, One Health Pass QR code and that's before you leave the baggage uh, claim. So it took us less than 30 minutes to navigate the health stations, DOT, immigration, and baggage claim. Not bad. I mean, we actually did good. I mean, kudos to the NAE staff, the frontliners, boy kayo. So join me on the next vlog where we check in in our quarantine hotel. It was a long flight but we were really happy at how the arrival process in Naia went through. So peace out, I'll see you in the next vlog. Hit it Kayla. Benji B is the man, share this vlog with everyone, alright? All right.